Okay, so this thing surprised me in a few different ways. First of all, it's a lot darker than I expected. In fact, it's a pretty fucking dark movie, if you really look at it. And I expected something a lot more fun and quirky. And it definitely is quirky, but I don't know if I'd go as far as to call it fun. It's funny, but not exactly fun. And the comedy is pretty damn dark too. It's not lighthearted at all. And as a whole, this thing paints a pretty bleak picture of humanity. But let's just get into the story. It's about this family, a mom and a daughter, and they move into a new house, in a new neighborhood. And they seem pretty happy, upbeat, optimistic, and a little bit too close to each other not to be weird. And the mom is a bit um, eccentric. And the kid is extremely sheltered. I mean, she's just about as naive and precious as a teenager could possibly be. Actually, in this day and age, I don't think a teen could realistically be that naive. And well, the world is a harsh place, and she's diving headfirst into it. How do you think that's gonna work out? Exactly. Now the characters and the way it's done is a bit different, but the underlying story really isn't. It's essentially a high school drama about being different and trying to fit in. That's basically what this is. And yeah, we've all seen it before. Nothing new here as far as that goes. Except there's a little bit more to it. First of all, the mom has a much bigger role in this than in most movies like this. She gets her own arc and everything. And where they decided to go with the end is definitely not average. In fact, this is one of the most unique endings I've probably ever seen. Which does also mean it'll most likely not work for everyone. I could see a lot of people hating this ending. And I'd say it's understandable, but it's also kind of the perfect ending, as weird and unusual as it is. It might feel like it comes out of nowhere, and that it's just there to get people talking about it. But the thing is, if you really break it down, it's not. It's actually perfectly set up. All the pieces fit. It works for everyone's arc, and the whole story. And that's why it's one of my favorite endings in a while. Now, could they have gone with a different ending? A more conventional one? Sure, easily. But then it would have been exactly what I described it as. Just another high school drama about being different and trying to fit in. Granted, one with a quirky little shell, but not really that different beneath the surface. And this definitely makes it different, because it kind of frames the rest of the movie differently too, and really does make it stand out, beyond just the visuals. And those are pretty unique too. They use a lot of bright colors and weird costume design in this one, and it makes the whole thing feel feel almost like fantasy. But there's not really anything fantastical about it. I mean, there are these short daydream sequences where the main character constructs her own reality, but those are never portrayed as reality. You always know they're just in her head, what she wishes would be real. And from a technical standpoint, this thing is very well put together. And the acting, especially from the mom and the daughter, is just great. They play their parts perfectly, and there's a lot of nuance and range to them, a lot of subtlety. And these are not easy roles to play, by any means. But they nailed it. And I ended up liking this movie a lot. It was a bit of a slow burn and took a while to start growing on me too. But it eventually did. And I mean the ending just brought the whole thing to another level in my book. And it actually managed to do a lot in a very short time. This thing's just like an hour 20 minutes or something. But a lot happens in those 80 minutes. They don't waste any time. There's really no fat to be trimmed. Every scene serves a purpose. It's just a very well constructed movie that knew exactly when and how to wrap it up. But yeah, as I said, it's not exactly a fun movie. I wouldn't call it cheery or uplifting. And it gets really dark at times. And emotionally pretty brutal too. But it knows exactly what it's doing and the end result is a lot better than I expected. Positively surprised by this one. And I expected it to be decent. So would I recommend it? Absolutely. But I also know the end's not gonna be for everyone. But still, check it out. Or don't. I'm not your dad.